What are we about to do right now? We're going to play Here's Why You're Wrong, where basically I look at your tough questions, your unpopular opinions, and your hot takes, and I decide which ones are the best and which ones are incorrect. We'll start with mine. Country isn't bad. Y'all just don't know any good country songs. Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of yays. Okay. Ooh, I'm seeing some wrongs. Oh no, here's why you're right. I'm correct, this is my opinion. Surprise, surprise, it says Daniel Wallace. I'm never wrong, okay? Video game OSTs are just as valid for listening as mainstream music. They're literally designed to be looped over and over without getting boring. Is this wrong? Is this right? Chat, I need to know. I'm seeing a lot of yeses. I'm seeing a lot of D'Angelo rights. Here's why you're right. I have actually spent so much time listening to video game OSTs that if you go to my um, Spotify wrapped, which I don't feel like finding right now, but I will send to my editor so I can put it in the video. My top listened artist is one of the composers for the Final Fantasy 13 soundtrack. I literally can't work if there's not video game music playing in the background. Even the music that's playing in the background now slaps so hard. It's not video game music, but the composer of all these songs that play in the background, heavily inspired by video games. I wouldn't go so far as to say video game music is superior but i think it's superior for working too oh no chat it's k-pop anytime i mention k-pop people get so heated and i like k-pop do you understand i don't have a problem with k-pop but y'all know how k-pop be on the internet k-pop isn't defined by bts's dynamite and idol i feel like people assume that every single k-pop song sounds like this which means if they're not fans of the song they'll assume k-pop is trash similarly while bts are obviously a huge part of k-pop they are not the only group there are many different groups and many different styles of songs within k-pop also people don't stand bts just because they look good and at this point it's very hard to be a teenage girl who likes k-pop boy groups because of the amount of fun you get made of chat how are we feeling about that i'm seeing a whole lot of yays i'm seeing a whole lot of d'angelo yes emotes i'm gonna have to say here's why you're oh <laughs> wrong sound effect here's why you're right this person is absolutely correct in that there's more to k-pop than bts and blackpink aren't they b the literal biggest bands in the world i think bts is the biggest boy band in the entire world and blackpink is the biggest girl group in the entire world so to judge all of k-pop by them is just extremely irrational that would literally be like saying all american music is bad because i happen not to like justin bieber there's absolutely no difference in those opinions to me. Oh, someone said Justin Bieber's Canadian. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, wait. Bruh, Canada. Contain him. He's literally dominating the US charts. Like, he breathes and he gets a number one. You're trying to tell me that man is from Canada? Okay, Justin Bieber is a bad example. <gasps> Drake is Canadian, too. I was literally about to say Drake next. Is The Weeknd Canadian? The Weeknd can't be Canadian. No, the Weeknd is not Canadian. Are y'all lying? Hold on a second. Hey, Siri, where is The Weeknd from? The Weeknd was born <gasps> in Toronto. <laughs> the weekend is canadian <laughs> wait literally since when since when ever wow y'all torpedoed my analogy there oh my gosh this is gonna be a good one if an artist doesn't write their own music they shouldn't be shamed for it or called untalented if your talents lie in singing then why should you be expected to write as well obviously it's amazing when someone can write and sing their songs but let's not act like music is dead if a songwriter is hired as long as everyone is honest about who wrote the song plus it creates drops for people who want to write but don't want to sing are you a talented artist if people write your songs for you? Ooh, I am seeing some mixed responses, but I'm seeing a lot of yays, actually. I'm gonna have to say, here's why you're right. First of all, I don't believe it's actually legal to take credit for um, a song that you didn't write. It's okay for a song to be produced by 10 people. Also, with rap music, there's going to be multiple songwriters by default because a lot of times producers wind up getting um, credited as songwriters just because of how much they contribute to things. There's a lot that goes into this, but I have to say you're not untalented. 
but I personally believe it is possible to be an untalented singer. If you do not have strong singing skills and you don't write your own songs and your music videos are lackluster, then yes, I think you would be untalented in that respect. Someone said, I think writing the lyrics is more of a talent than singing. Whoa. Okay. 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 We are about to do our first on the fly opinion. Okay go whoa okay we are finally split this was my vision for here's why you're wrong i want to see a split like this oh wait i wrote songwriting twice why do you let me do these things oh my gosh y'all literally want me to be the worst streamer writing lyrics is more of a talent than singing there's a lot of people saying yes all right i don't know if y'all want my opinion on this here's why you're wrong i don't believe writing lyrics is more of a talent than singing okay i think they are not comparable anyone can learn to sing and anyone can learn to write but i think there's some artists whose voices are just so like flawlessly put together it's no way i could in good faith say they're not talented because they can't write a song oh oh okay we have a, a perfect one right here there's no such thing as having a bad taste in music don't judge other people just because they enjoy music that you don't like okay this person thinks it's not possible to have a bad taste in music chat what do we think about that hmm Ooh. okay wow i'm seeing a lot more wrongs i'm gonna have to say here's why you're right i truly don't believe you can have a bad taste in music even if you like artists that don't make great music do you know why because you still like it <laughs> you still like it there's a lot of artists that don't sing the best okay there's a lot of artists that don't make the world's deepest songs but i still enjoy listening to them i don't think it's possible for me to have a bad taste in music it's just my taste okay let's get down to business who would i have to listen to for you to say i have a bad taste in music jake paul oh jake paul and dixie d'amelio wait a minute okay chat i offer you the opinion jake paul and dixie d'amelio are incapable of making a single good song am i wrong or am i right i split the chat i split the chat in half all right chat here's why i'm right this is a huge assumption of mine but i am fairly certain that both jake paul and dixie d'amelio started their music careers because they needed a product to sell now i'm sure dixie has said a lot about singing and all this stuff but if you listen to her lyrics it's very obvious that it is being produced to sell as much as possible some of the lyrics to one of her songs is unironically one day one day i was really 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 sad is that not her did i just make that up chat i think she has lyrics that say one day one day i was really 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 sad in the chorus of her song one whole day for one day one day i was really 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 sad for one day one whole day i missed you really 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 bad and a single tear trickled down my face while i threw your stuff in the fireplace i was really 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 sad for one day one whole day these are unironically the lyrics to one whole day by dixie d'amelio featuring um where's khalifa what's khalifa bro what are you doing <laughs> He must need that check. If you are comfortable with putting music out like this, I personally find it difficult to believe that your career is based off of anything other than going viral on TikTok. She didn't write this song at all. Lindy Robbins, Brooke Tomlinson, Andrew Goldstein, and Wiz Khalifa, yes, the Wiz Khalifa, wrote this song. Back to my original question. If Dixie had written this song herself, I would say that she is capable of making good songs because that would just mean that she's a not a super great songwriter <laughs> and she needs to practice as for jake paul his songs are just inherently always going to be bad by virtue of him being jake paul i don't think that's an unpopular opinion lol <laughs> but fresh out of london do be having a good beat though here's one that we need to react to right now everyone's music tastes sucks except d'angelo's chat is this correct am i the only valid person with a musical opinion on the internet <gasps> is this a unanimous yes oh some of you are bold i did see a couple of no's here's why you're right they're right 
Anyway, my stream completely died, so I guess we're done looking at opinions. opinions. It's safe to say that the lesson we can learn here is I am the only one with a valid music opinion on the internet. Anyway, I'll be here all week, folks, at 2 p.m. Central Time. If it's Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, that means I'm uploading a new video here. If it's Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday, that means I'm going live over on Twitch. So basically, what I'm trying to say here is um, I'll see you tomorrow. Unless, of course, tomorrow's Sunday, in which case, just watch this video again. Okay, bye.